Thank you for joining me on another episode of Jimmy's Alpine Clock Shop YouTube channel. Today I'd like to show you a clock by the company Ansonia. This is called a mantel clock. It is porcelain. The clock itself was made in New York circa 1890. It is a French Rococo style painting. The name of the clock is La Chapelle which translates into the chapel. The clock itself is time and strike and it has a figurehead at the top of a beautiful golden haired woman with a floral wreath with her golden locks flowing into the design of the clock. Now you can see that this style of painting has quite vibrant colors, raspberry, grape, blueberry, mint, hand painted details of flower buds and leaves, beautiful gold tones used for the hair, again buds and leaves repeated on the other side, and then some pinstriping gold detail surrounding the leaves on the other side. A very playful and curvaceous case. It's elegant, look wonderful in many interiors. Very soft features for the female. Sometimes we call it a mask too, but it is a figurehead as you would see on a uh, prow of a ship. The clock itself, this is Ansonia made, terrific clock company. And you can see by the dial, it's porcelain, it's hand painted numerals, Arabic style, with the Ansonia signia right here. Now, the two shafts that are sticking out of the holes here, this is the movement shafts. And the Ansonia movement is very high quality. The one on the right you would wind to make sure that you wind up the time. And the one on the left you would wind to make sure you uh, wind up the strike in the hour. I'll show you those in the next video. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful timepiece. It's spectacular. We have it in our store right now if you want to come by. Please check below for our location if you're in the Riverside area. It's magnificent. And I wanted to point out one last thing. When handling any type of antiques, you want to wear gloves. So you see I have a glove on because you want to make sure that anything that's hand painted or delicate you don't get any of your natural oils or any debris that you might have on your hands onto the clock so this way I can show the clock to you I could touch the uh, glass on it I could touch the hand painted flowers and just show you the beautiful lines of this timepiece without making sure that I compromise its value or its beauty. So on the next video I'll show you how to wind up this clock and run it. But in the meantime I just want to say thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, and subscribe and we will post be posting again soon. Talk to you later. Bye!